Salutations, cadets! I am your Commander Pika, and this is for Season of Defiance's Week 8 reset on April 18th, 2023. There's a new mission wrapping up the season. Dive in to see how the story ends, get the final audio log, and earn the Queen's Guard title. This week, earn double rank points in the Crucible. Now is the perfect time to dive in to reset your rank for multiple weapon perks and test out the two weekly rotators Shax has brought this week, Zone Control and Momentum Control, now featuring connection-based matchmaking only. For the Vanguard, the Ops playlist has Arc and Stasis Surge. This week, Heist Battlegrounds Mars is the Nightfall. Brace the Horde of Hive with Void and Strand Surges and defeat Kelgroth to earn the Mindbender's Ambition Shotgun. This will be the last chance to earn the Adept version from GM as it leaves the active loot pool next season. This week, your endgame pinnacles are from the Garden of Salvation Raid and Duality Dungeon. Perfect time to farm some Artifice Armor. Lastly, Dares of Eternity is in Loot Rotation 4, featuring weapons from Season of the Lost. Turning to Neomuna's civil news, this week the Vex Incursion Zone is in Zephyr Concourse, the Partition Mission is Backdoor, and Weekly Campaign Mission is Breakneck. For the Root of Nightmares raid, the fourth encounter challenge, All Hands, is now active. Everyone needs to activate both types of nodes before the damage phase. This is the last one needed to earn the raid seal, so earn and become Dream Warriors. Expect a full detailed guide on the challenge in the future. Today, Update 7.0.5 went live. This mid-season patch brings with it a slew of great changes. Key changes are Crucible now has two weekly rotator playlists that have just connection-based matchmaking, Root of Nightmares adept weapons can now be upgraded with enhanced perks and qualities of crafted weapons, fix the Gambit Dark Age Arsenal Triumph for not recognizing certain Gambit weapons, fix the Galran not teleporting cheese in duality, fix the soft block in Root of Nightmares second encounter, buff nearly all primary weapons against minor and major foes, a nerf to Taraba and a huge buff to Revision Zero, tuned Heist Battleground Mars so the seals are easier to destroy and add spawn less frequently, a slight buff to the ease of use of Rally Barricade, the inclusion of the best stressed combination, fix some bugs with higher guardian rank requirements, and a way to buy the class exotic glaives from the evidence board. Full update article will be linked down below. And with a big update, expect some bugs and non-documented bug fixes. So far, there is an issue with completing the new seasonal story quest and a reshaping interaction with the new enhancement system. Last week's TWAP also has two key topics worth bringing up. One is their stance and policy over third-party peripherals as it relates to accessibility, cheating, or gaining an unfair advantage. The other is that Trials of Osiris will have two labs weekends testing their new matchmaking pools, allowing more people to play and remove the old flawless pool system. Full article and extra info will be linked in the description. With a new week, that means new vendor loot. Over at Banshee, for the next few hours, his legal action 2 has Killing Wind and Frenzy, and that 7th Seraph SI2 has Demolitionist and Snapshot Sights. In his weekly weapons, his hand in hand with Dual Loader and Cascade Point are the only noteworthy thing. Over at Ada 1, her weekly shaders are Genotype Null Zero, Echoes of IO Worn, and their rare War Cult Scheme. And the only noteworthy armor is Hunter Gauntlets at Ada. A new week, so new items for Bright Dust at the Eververse. Tess has brought the chess pieces for the Seasonal Eververse set, the On the Nose Touch Grass Exotic Emote, a Wish Under Ornament, and much more. The rest will scroll on screen now. With that, hope you have fun this week. For those finishing your Root of Nightmare seal or diving into the weekly GM, best of luck to you. If you have trouble, remember to take a break and try again. Expect my GM guide on Mars Battleground coming later in the week. I want to do some testing with the changes to make sure my guide has everything, so it'll most likely be Wednesday or Thursday. Other than that, look out for the final guide for the Ron Weekly Challenge, info on the Enhanced Adept System, vendor information, and much more. So if that interests you, then ring the bell and hit subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Destiny 2, dive into raids, or meet some lovely people, then join our clan in Discord Sundog Gaming. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.